the area here. Nice pathways, nice solid pathways, nice Thank house. You. And basically a structure. Wow, look at that for a waterway. It's starting to rain a bit now, but uh, that's not too bad. Well, we're going to be headed now into the Bog Gardens, so it's going to be this way. Let's take a look and see if there's anything to see in this church. We're going to try and do the uh, Drummond Island uh, walk here, so there's no real map around it, so I'm just following the signs. <laughs> I guess if you're looking at a place to get lost in, uh, this is probably the place. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, there's a map at the actual centre, but uh, when I was at Boyle, Boyle Abbey, the fella gave me an information, basically two pages. I didn't carry the thing. I'm carrying a helmet, i got a backpack, i got a camera I'm holding. It was just a bit of a nightmare, so... We'll just follow the route here and see how we get on. We've got the marina here just behind us. Well, so there was our canopy tour then that we took. They went all the way up there and down and that's where it finished. I was talking about the ice house when I was up there and um, this is what the ice house is all about. Right, so I was talking about the, uh, the ice houses. Um, there was no formal electricity, so what they needed was they needed cool places uh, where they could store rice without it actually melting quickly. So this is the result. So we've got a clearly labelled ice house and basically a structure that is meant to keep the ice uh, nice and cool uh, without it melting too much. Again, I'm not sure on the significance. I'm going to try and see if we can here in but uh, as in like how long they kept the ice in there for you know it depends on many things yeah so the ice house um was built for that specific purpose so when they ever needed um to keep things nice and cool that's what the ice house was used for and obviously it would reduce the amount of uh, melt uh, obviously nowadays we just open the fridge freezes there we've got ice on the uh, on, on, on call anyway. Yeah. And we've got this old, massive tree over here. I mean, let's look at that. It's like probably one of the hardwood trees. We continue on. There's supposed to be two bridges that we're supposed to be having a look at um, on the way to Dr Drummond Island and uh, one of them is called Ferry, the Ferry Bridge and uh, the other is Drummond Bridge so hopefully we can make it. There's our uh, canopy walk up there again. Ah, oh, it's starting to rain a bit now. It's very soft so hopefully it'll burn off shortly anyway and then we can Continue on with a bit of sunshine. Yeah, so we're continuing on to uh, the Ferry Bridge and uh, then hopefully we'll cross off into uh, Drummond Island. That's going to be the extent of the walk today. I'd love to do the whole place, but <laughs> I'd like to get home and <laughs> I'd like to get home in one piece, but um, I'm sure seeing the video you might come down here and explore the side that I haven't seen. Oh, we followed uh, the sign for the, it says Nature Trail and Bog Garden. So it'll be interesting to see what this Bog Garden is going to be looking like. We've come into a nice little uh, canopy area here. Nice pathways, nice solid pathways. Definitely good walk, walking shoes needed. I'm wearing motorcycle boots, so they're very sturdy base, so I'm managing. 
if you uh, saw me in the not, uh, not an array or we saw Queen, Queen Maeve's Kern, if you haven't seen the video, I'll put a link in the description, up, sorry, not in the description, up on the top right. Definitely check that out on it. This is nothing in comparison to climbing that hill. I think it's 320, 320 feet, I think it was. There's the Fairy Bridge. So I know we're headed in the right direction. Uh, this is the angle I saw in one of the pictures actually and I was like wow that's interesting so the kind of bridge went over the path but it's actually part of the path it's just uh, you can obviously go into this area here which is sort of sunken down and you can have a look at this uh, fabulous bridge and there's also appears to be a little walk you can take here on the left really picturesque stuff uh, some, I mean windows there at some point or made to look like windows anyway. So very nice. It's, it's interesting the, the kind of stone, the way the stone looks. It's very rough and uh, mystical, <laughs> maybe. And I'm going to head over the bridge. Let's have a look at some of the stone here. You've got these areas here. Eighteen thirty-six. Wow! Look at that for a waterway. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely massive. Um, just look at the bases on some of these. And the big branches coming off. Wow. Oh, we're coming up to Drummond's Bridge. This links the island of uh, Draman, which is behind us here. And it's a beautiful walk that goes all the way around uh, the island and then moves back to the bridge. Uh, we'll see how far we get. What's interesting about Drammen Bridge is it was built in 1819, which uh, predates the, uh, the Ferry Bridge, so there must have been another route that was taken to get here before they built the, uh, the Ferry Bridge. I'm going to continue on here. We'll see some of the shoreline and then we're going to head back and we're going to take a look at uh, the church ruins, uh, the Oh, the bog garden. We've got to go and see the bog garden in a second. Basically, just hearing the bird sounds. This will be our last stop on Drummond's Island here, and we'll turn back. And then we're going to head to the uh, Bog Garden. Okay, so that's where we would come from there, the marina. That's where the visitor centre is over there. through Castle Island. 
and that's where we've come in. Right, so we're gonna head back now. That is to continue on if you wanna, if you're ever here at uh, Drummond's Island, you make it this far. That way continues all around, loose back to the bridge. But we're gonna be heading back uh, this way now, and we're gonna have a look at the bog garden, and then we're gonna head back uh, to the main visitor center. It's starting to cool down a bit now. There's a nice wind blowing, which is great. Gotta keep yourself nice and cool here. Well, we're going to be headed now into the bog gardens so it's going to be this way and it pretty much it's right opposite where the uh, Drummond's uh, bridge was back this side so it's completely opposite where Drummond's bridge was and we'll be heading straight to the bog garden here we've got these nice planks here similar to Union Rock in case you haven't seen that video I'll put a link in the top right hand corner be sure to check that out very similar kind of planks that they all wouldn't say planks they were more like timber uh, but these are planking so obviously just to help you walk across the ground here wow just it carries on there bug garden huh. so we're gonna go right here and so there's a bench there to sit down take a break now i'll be looking forward to that break Left or right? What do you think everyone? Left or right? Let's go left. I've got a stink suspicion that Bog Garden is a circular path route that we're taking. It's pretty rainy at the moment. Again, it's not too bad. I'll just keep an eye on it. But once it gets too heavy, I'll have to disconnect the medium mug, but I think we're doing okay. But yeah, I think this just loops around. And this is the Bog Garden. And that's exactly what it's done. This is where we uh, took a left here. Uh, at least I think so. No, we haven't got there yet. Wow. be a good idea to put some signposting up because uh, unless you thought that was back of where we'd uh, then we stumbled on, a, on another trail so, so we're, we're going to go back, back the way we came here and just work our way around and that's probably the safest bet otherwise we might end up uh, going somewhere else so here we go we'll swing it left here so I presume this whole area here must be the bog garden busy making our way back to the start here. Yeah, I was just saying that there was a couple there that started just I don't know, walking past me there. As I said, so just be careful because you know you can get lost. There's trails and everything breaks off and then look I'm sure you won't necessarily get lost but you know you might find yourself walking an extra few kilometers. So uh, I was just telling them there like basically what I saw there's no signs there. So you're better off um sticking to route but yeah that looks like it. Bog garden. And we're back on the planks here. We'll work our way around back to the yeah, ferry bridge. Uh, the bog gardens. So at least you know where you are entrance wise. And then we're heading back to Lock Key, which is going to be that way. And there's uh, Drummond's Bridge. Came through this canopy, uh, the tree canopy. Yeah. We made our way back to the visitor centre. And um, I'm just really looking forward to uh, just taking a Quick break. Uh, I've got to rest my shoulders here. Carrying all this equipment. <laughs> it's hard work. Oh. The next thing to have a look at is the uh, church. The church ruins. 
dates back from about 1883. And uh, we'll have a look at the temple here on the left. And then we'll see if we can get some um, drone footage as well. This is the visitor centre, uh, just to my right here. Uh, there's a cafe there. And um, you can get your ticket sales from where this, this red um, building is. Just around this side, so I'll show you quickly. It's an old harbour. So there's uh, Lock Key Activity Park there behind me. And then we got the restaurant there. I'm gonna grab something in that food truck. Hopefully there's something to eat. Well, well deserved rest. I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. How are we doing everyone? Uh, just taking a break here now. Uh, that is the church. Sorry, that's the uh, Church of Ireland. Uh, it's an Anglican church. Uh, the order dates back from about 500 AD, thereabouts. Uh, that church was built in about 1880 and um, we're going to go and take a look uh, shortly i'm just gonna have something to drink something to eat a rather hefty brownie i just picked up there and uh, just replenish my fluids let me know what you're uh, up to today you're going to see someplace new someplace nice uh, let me know in the comments down below Enjoy. That is one serious brownie. Right, break over. Let's take a look and see if there's anything to see in this church. I wonder when it was uh, closed. Boy, yeah, it looks like some writing up there as well, but I can't see it. Hmm. Right, here we go. The Tower of the Church, 1830 to 1835. Uh, County Roscommon, it's got before and after pictures. So that's what uh, that would have looked like. I'm not sure if that is up here. or if it's this one here. Belfry window above the doorway. Okay, there we go then. Belfry window. Okay, so what would have been one of those up there? Center window, north wall. Okay, so they've put some lintels in there to support the, the frames. Entrance doorway. Oh, there we go. The Tats Church of Ireland, um, built 1833. Uh, segmental headed uh, door opening to entrance tower and so on. Okay, we got the information board there. That's the name of the church as well and the restoration that took place. So we before and after photos. Right, with the uh, church done, let's take a look at that temple by the, um, by the lake. I just wanted to just check with the people inside if I could fly my drone here. Um, always be a responsible pilot. Uh, I've got my, uh, my license and uh, I just want to make sure I can actually you know, film. So they said uh, it shouldn't really be a problem. I said I've got my license if they need to see it, so they were okay with that. But um, as I said, we'll just do some shots of the lake. Uh, the temple there on the right and uh, we'll get going to finish up
Well, we're gonna finish off the video guys thanks very much for watching um, please like comment and subscribe down below I hope you've really enjoyed uh, the facilities here and um, hope you've enjoyed the video but um, look forward to your comments down below and uh, I'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching